Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be discussing Bid by version 15 and some general navigation on the home screen. So first off let's start off in the top left hand corner. You can see that there are some new icons along the left hand side. If you click this top box it shows you exactly what they are but this just kind of saves some of uh, your screen space. If you hover over each one of the icons it's going to show you what that is. Now um, as you know Bid by is an off-the-shelf system that is configured to some of our, our state's needs, but there are going to be some icons and some fields in the system that the state of Illinois is just choosing not to use. Okay, So for our case, we will be using requisitions, bid solicitations, and purchase orders. Okay, So a couple things we're not going to be using. We won't be using the contracts. We won't be using receipts, credit memos, as well as invoices. So we can just ignore those for now. Okay, so uh, I'm going to just kind of work through some of our general navigation if I click on requisitions. Now this is going to show all the requisitions in my agency in these different statuses. So these are this is a list of all of my requisitions that are in progress status, ready for approval, returned, if it was returned for any reason, ready for purchasing, meaning it's ready to be converted to bid or purchase order, those requisitions that have gone to PO, those have that have gone to bid. Now one highlight I wanted to uh, let everybody know that I think it's really cool is a toggle switch in the right hand corner here that toggles between view mine and view all. So as a buyer or as a purchaser, end user, I just sometimes I just want to see what what are the procurements that are mine. Okay, so I can view that. But if I want to take a look at what is out of all of the agencies, or sorry, within my agency, I can view all. Okay, so that's a nice little toggle switch there. And that's going to be the same for your bid solicitations as well. The same thing will be working in that same way. So in progress status, ready for approval status, returned all your different statuses across here for your bids. As once And once again, you have the view mine and view all option. Okay, as well as your purchase orders. You can do the same thing. Once again, you have all your in progress, ready for approval, all your ready to send, all those different statuses, and you can toggle between view mine and view all. Okay, and then you have your home button here, and then I'll work from left to right across the top. We're working in the train environment here, that's why you see that it's train, and you can click that to go right back to your home screen as well. The plus sign, this is how we're going to add documents. So for almost all of our procurements we're going to start by clicking the plus sign and creating a requisition okay so this is how you create a requisition create a bid create a purchase order we move further right to our search box now our search is attached to this little drop down to the right where we can search using keyword uh, catalog bid contract blankets invoices purchase orders requisitions quotes vendors so that's just another way to get to a document that you're trying to find Okay, catalog is a new function within version 15, how you can do a release off of a master. And once I do general navigation, we will come back and do a, a different uh, video for how to do a quick release off a of master. It's similar to the quick buy function in version 13. However, it operates more like a shopping cart, uh, more the way you know we shop online these days. So you're able to search for an item then go in and fill that fill your shopping cart and then it automatically creates a requisition but that will be a, another video but so you can search there for anything attached to your drop down moving further to the right you have your advanced search this is similar to the um, has the same parameters as version 13 advanced search where it was that magnifying glass in the in the right hand side now they've pulled this over to the center it's a nice big button that says advanced search so you would search for, you know, say we're looking for something, a, a bid. It brings up all your different parameters that you can search for. You know, the, all of these parameters are exactly the same that were in version 13. It just looks a little different. Um, so as we move into version 15, just a reminder that our general workflow is still going to be exactly the same. So, you know, following your job age, you're still going to create a requisition, which then could be converted to a bid and awarded in the bid tab and then converted to purchase order. So all of that is staying exactly the same. It just looks a little different, and version 15 has a, a, a better user experience as well as a few extra bells and whistles. Okay, so if I'm searching for a bid, if I know the number, I can go directly to the number, the status, I can search by buyer, 
by department, by location, um, but let's see, we'll just press search here, just to get, essentially it's going to bring up everything in my org here. A new highlight in version 15, which I think is really cool, is if over to the right hand side, we can export. We can immediately export to CSV, Excel, as well as to PDF. So I, what I envision is agencies, if you want to get a snapshot or if you're a department head or uh, perhaps APOs, if you want to get a snapshot of what's going on at your agency or for a particular department, you know, you can pull up everything that, at your agency or by department and then export that to Excel. And then that puts everything into, um, you know, a, a format that everyone is more used to working and able, and able to manipulate information. So I think that's going to be something that's going to be a very nice highlight for everybody. Okay, so that's the advanced search. Go back to my home screen here. Moving further to the right, a lot of the icons that were on version 13 are just now have been rearranged under these different four icons at the top. Okay, so I hit the little bell there. This is where our events, reminders, system me messages lie. To further to the right in our settings, this is how you would uh, potentially do your ad hoc reporting, as well as to the Granger G2B punch out. Uh, it, the, the Granger punch out video will be something that's a, a different video as well, but that is operating in the same exact way as it was in version 13. You click on the, the GDB punch out, you select Granger as your vendor, and you'll go out to Granger's website, you know, fill out your cart, and then it brings you back to a requisition with all of those items um, in your line items. So that, that is still functioning in the same exact way as it has in the past. Okay, we move to the help section. About speed is just the version of by speed. It just talks about what that is. The user manual. Now, if I select the user manual, it brings up the system manual for our, for the by speed program. Okay, so this is not our state process. This is the actual by speed user manual, but this can be really helpful. So as I scroll down, you have a lot of different, the table of contents links to different pieces of bid buy, or you can also always use, you know, the con, um, control F, say I want to search for, yeah, search for a bid tab. What does a bid tab do? Now I can, I can work through each one of these. There's a bid tab, informal bid tabulation, and it just talks about the system specifically. So if you um, want to do a deep dive on the system, this is definitely the way to do it, and it will walk you all the way through um, the user manual. Okay. Customer service. If I click customer service, that is just brings up a and in, brings up in my Outlook an email that would set up directly going to the bid by help desk. Okay, there you go. You can see that there. It goes directly to il.bidby at illinois.gov. NIGP code browse. If I select that. This is just a, a browsable, searchable database here. So you're not adding anything to any particular procurement. This is just you're outside of a requisition or anything. And you want to know, hey, what kind of NIGP code am I going to use for my procurement? You can use the drop down to search your class. And then once you have their class, then you can kind of drill down through your specific item code as well. Or you could also use just your keyword. So if you're searching for guitar, for instance, search, you can do that as well. So you can use the keyword function to find all that or use your drop down. Okay. That's the NIGP code browse. And then we move further to the right to our account. Now this is where you can change your user role. If you're in the basic purchasing role, department access, as well as inquiry. We select my account to change of your any of your information, your contact information, edit. You can also go in and add a proxy. As a proxy user, say I'm going to be going on vacation, I'm going to be out for a week, I can go in and activate a proxy user so that that person would receive all the notifications that I would be receiving. Uh, certainly as an approver, that would be something that would be a part of what you would need to do if you're going to be out of the office uh, for an extended period of time.
there it is. So if you go in and, and under proxy user, if you needed to change your login question or login answer, you change your title, all that sort of stuff, you can. If you need to change your password, you can go in and change your password. But if I want to add a proxy user, I would just go in and select a proxy user, and then I can activate them and then save and exit. I can also come back and then deactivate them after I come back from the beach and I'm well refreshed. Okay. So that's how you do your uh, edit your account information. Okay, so that's all everything everything across the top. Now a, a new version or new in version 15, which I really like too, is are these action items, these nice colorful boxes across the top. What these are doing is saying, hey, these are ready for something to happen. These are action items. This is documents that are ready for my approval. This is ready for purchasing. So this is a document that has made it through a requisition that's made it through the approval paths and now it's ready to be converted to a bid or to PO depending on uh, what the procurement type is. Bid solicitations that are ready to send um, that will be specific to our SPOs as SPOs are the ones that send our bids. Bids that are ready to open so as soon as a bid opening date and time has arrived that's going to pop up in that box. So I think this is going to be really helpful for everybody just so you know, these are action items across the top that you know you something needs to be happening here if, if you have a document in those boxes. Okay, down here on the left is just your news. This is where, you know, for instance, if the system is going to be down due to maintenance or something like that, then you would have uh, some news items there. One of my favorite highlights, though, of version 15 is the recent documents here. So this is different from version 13 to version 15 in terms of all you, the, the last five documents that you have even opened and viewed will be right here in the recent documents. Now, if there are more, if I view more here, that's going to open up everything that I've opened in the last 30 days. Okay. I think this is going to be really helpful because how many times are you working in bid buy and then, you know, you go to lunch or you have to, you know, go do something and come back and, you don't remember exactly what it was. It's just a quick, easy way to get back to it. Now, of course, you can always find your documents using the same way that you have in the past, you know, using your advanced search, as well as you can use, you know, your icons over here on the far left. So there are, there are multiple ways to find the documents that you need to find. As I scroll further down, we have at the very bottom of our screen, we'll always show your current organization. I'm currently in the CPOGS, CPO Office for General Services, org. That is your agency. This is that same box. In version 13, it was up at the top in the center. Okay, now it's been moved down here to the bottom with your bid by date and time as well. That is really important for your bid opening dates as well as bid by timestamps, everything that, you know, any anytime a document is attached, anytime a document is approved, any, any Anytime a requisition is approved, that timestamp will match what is here in the bid by timestamp. Okay, so that's just the general navigation, and there will be some more videos moving up um, or coming up soon over particular procurement types. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.